Uh, suck my balls, Cal. No! No, he has to suck my balls! You like to suck my balls, don't deny it. Oh, suck my balls, you ginger Jew rat hall monitor. Punk-ass stoolie, who the f*** do you think you are? Suck my balls, K-10. That's right, suck my Canadian balls. Suck my balls. No, you suck my balls. Thanks, everybody. Suck my balls. Yeah, whatever, you can suck our balls. Suck my balls, 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 suck my balls. How would you children like to suck on my chocolate salty balls? Oh, you mean like a chocolate candy? No, I mean my balls. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition, that's right, of Sucking My Balls. Suck my balls. Suck my balls. Suck, suck, suck. my balls. Suck my balls. Suck my balls. Suck my balls. Suck my balls. A South Park review. I am your host in the heat and I can't be beat. I'm your guy who's high or the air is so dry. Your very own boy toy. I think I'm cute. I think I'm sexy. Matthew Scott Schaffer. You can follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Matthew. On Each and every week, I'm joined by people who don't like to hurt any sheeple. They're not in the dark. There's nobody wearing a hat. There's no foil in here. And by God, he's not a rat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to his podcast, The Tombow, The Tombow, The Tombow, The S to the C to the double O P, The Mac Daddy, Scoop Jackson. Come on, Scoop. Scooping some Jaybirds. Scooping some Jaybirds. Jaybird, how you doing? Another day in paradise. Another day in the life of a man. Wish we could say that we're too blessed to be stressed right now, but. What too blessed to be stressed? I wish so. Well, shout out to <laughs> shout out to our boy, Double J, Dirty Joe, the Mac Fact, the Dirty Boy, the Punkonomic, the Dirty, the dirty Hydrophonic, boy. the Botnatonic, the Botnatonic, the the Glassic Phronic, the Blantastic Rolling Plastic, the Promoter Tonic. I'm just putting tonic at the end of things. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to our boy, Dirty JV. Double Dirty JV. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, he was like, I'm do, I'm busy. I've got to do wrestling stuff. i no, got to promote he, stuff. He said, fuck you. He said, fuck you. Yes. So, uh, I don't know. We're going to do <laughs> Joe's shout outs now. Go to Joe's uh, Facebook stuff, Primo's Pro Wrestling Facebook, Facebook, Pro Wrestling, Primos, <laughs> Wrestling stuff. Go there, wrestling. and you'll see all the stuff that they're doing. There's some sort of taco fest, I think, coming up still here in Yo, August at the Red taco. Rocks. Red Rocks Tico Taco Festival. Probably not a Red Rocks. They're probably just calling out tacos on the rocks. Uh, go check out some Tico's Tacos Wrestling Festival in August, and check out the Lucha Libre scene out there. Follow Joe Vernola. Uh, JV Vernola on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm sure if you just message him on Facebook and say, hey, I want to talk wrestling, uh, he'll talk wrestling with you. But don't be an asshole. Otherwise, he, he'll tell you. Oh, Joe Vernola, I love yeah. you. This is your full look. We gave you a full 60-second intro, you yes. son of a bitch. Yes. And you're not even here. Not even That's here. what you get. That's all you get today. That's enjoy you get. Enjoy the podcast. All right, we're back to the show now. Suck my balls. The South Park area. Of course, we're uh, brought to you by thebigboysclub.com. Use our code SuckMyBallsPod and you'll save 20% off your order. The big boys. I'm going to order something. Though. Nah, just a freaking little brand. It's they, a lifestyle. Huh? That's right. They got some fire right now, too. You know who's got some fire in my pants? Oh. That must be hot. I probably, how is that comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. How is that comfortable? How, how do, you, how, do you like that? Does that is make it? For, like, good long-term use? Because I'm thinking if I should light some fire in my pants. So let some fire in my pants. Yo, it's your host in the heat. You can't be beat. The guy who's high with the air is dry. Your boy, MSG, sitting right next to my sponsor, The Baked Boys Club. This is TheBakedBoysClub.com. Use our code SuckMyBossPod. You'll save 20% off your order. Baked Boys. Oh, stay baked, my friends. Not just Ooh. Boom. I met Mars at the... Nice. Event, right? That was a pretty cool video, so... I just wanted Dude, to you met Mars. I met Mars. 
a top R. He was like, he was like, I was not ready for that. He's like, you just hit record and went. And I was like, oh my bad. I probably should have said I'm going to hit record. He's like, I was ready for the picture. He's like, and then you told your guy to just hit record and you went, you went. I was like, that's how I do, bro. I'm always on. And just like, we're always on for you here right now. And you know who else is going to try to have something on? She's going to try to put something in on around her brand new vagina in Mr. Garrison's fancy new vagina. No. Did like the segue? <laughs> Season nine, episode number one. It is South Park's 126th overall episode, and it is, of course, our 129th edition of Shit Nah Bass. This episode aired on March 9th, 2005. That was two days after my birthday. Oh, uh, but that was two days after my birthday, so it was pretty cool. I remember 2005. It was interesting. I was living in Montana, but we don't need to talk about that bird today. Synopsis of plot here for this episode, as you kind of alluded to, Mr. Garrison's fancy new vagina. Mr. Garrison has a sex change, guys. That's what this whole episode's about. It's about trans species, transgender, transracial. It's about the whole notion of the rest of town getting in touch with their inner feelings as well. Yeah. What they identify. What they yes. identify. So that's how it starts off. As it starts off here with Mr. Garrison getting a sex change. And he gets a sex change at the Trinidad Medical Center. Now, you know, everything as far as in the sex change kind of, I guess, goes well from a, a, a from a surgery standpoint. It's kind of nasty. Let us play, let's play some clips for you. Yes. <gasps> my whole life I've been a woman trapped in a man's body. I don't know sex if I can change watch these again. is my last chance at happiness. <laughs> All right, then let's begin. For those who are unaware, they show the actual. They show the actual operation. The first thing I'm going to do is slice your balls. And they actually show this. Oh. They slice the balls. Why did we watch it again? For you, the viewer, we watch this. You enjoy it. We'll take one for the team. Fuck it. My nuts. That was them. They cut the. The fucking ball. Oh my god. No, he's turning the penis inside out. Oh my god, and turning it into a vagina. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're, we're done. done. We're done. We suffered through enough. Yeah. So, as you heard there, what we do for you guys? There was, there was a sex change. We watched it for you. Uh, as Mr. Garrison explains, that he's a woman trapped inside a man's body. So. It's at this point now, Mr. Garrison has completed his sex change. We cut over now to Kyle, who's just arriving out the Colorado State Team Basketball Tryouts with his mission to be a basketball player because he's always wanted to be a basketball player since he was a kid, right? Yeah, he wants to play for the Denver Nuggets. He wants to grow up and play for the damn Denver Nuggets. Got aspirations. Got to well, respect it. Unfortunately, Kyle's not going to make the team. No. Nope. Because, well, as Kyle, as Cartman alludes at the beginning, he, Jeez, can't play basketball, cat. <laughs> Kyle says, fuck you. I'm the best player in our school. I beat you out. So he gets out there on the floor, plays, and unfortunately the coach makes that same correlation or I guess, you know, comes to the same conclusion as well. How can I not be nervous? How can I not be nervous? Trying out for the All-State team has been my dream for years. You're the best player in our school. Dream you make the team for, for sure. Years. This is ridiculous. Jews can't play basketball. Can't play basketball. I beat out your fat ass, Cartman. All students trying out for the All-State team to center court. Good all right. luck. So now he has his tryout here. Playing against a bunch of tall black kids. Uh, yep. Uh, excuse uh, me, Broflowski, is it? With the white yeah. coach. Can we talk to you for a minute? Of course, that's how the NBA works. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. You're the best player in your school, are you? <laughs> yep, I love basketball. I want to play for the Denver Nuggets someday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, kid, you've got great skills and a great attitude, but you're just not physically built for the game. Built for the game. What do you mean? Well, it's just that Jews can't play basketball. <laughs> yeah, right, cat. Kids, we got <laughs> yeah, cat. Jews can't play basketball, unfortunately. It's kind of, it's quite sad. It, it's quite sad. So afterwards, now of course, Kyle's sulking. He's upset. Yeah, no Cartman no comes by, and he even wants to rub it in, but it's, it's just so depressing for Cartman that even he can't rub it in. Yep. Kenny walks up, tries to console him. Now Kenny and Stan quietly leave. And Carbon waits. Anxiously walks over. Let's Kyle know. 
Kyle, no response. Kyle, I'm totally ripping on you at a totally inappropriate time. <laughs> I know. I know. I deserve it. I deserve it. Fucking yeah, you know why? Because Jews can't play basketball. You're right. Jesus, that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Jesus, that's no fun. So now at home, Kyle asks about his... He asks his parents because, well, unfortunately for the parents, they don't get to really prepare themselves. Like, okay, so from my experience, when a teacher or we, some... Let's oh, get that part. Hold on. So from my... I'm going into that. So from my experience, when a teacher has a, a sex change or someone in the workplace has a sex change, usually you get notified, right? Or they send you an email or they have some sort of conference about it. In my experience, uh, it happened to me at work. I had someone who went through a sex change and they had an, like an all employee meeting where everybody got to go and talk. And if they were, had offend, something or offended by it or something, they could speak their mind, I guess. I don't know. I didn't go because I was just like, I don't really care. Cool. Cool. But in this case for young children, the parents probably should be alerted if this would have happened. <laughs> In the right way, instead of Mr. Garrison walking down the street <laughs> and just boom, and, Ka and Carmen Damn. goes, "You guys, I think Mr. Garrison has some titties." <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Carmen got titties. <laughs> so, so let's walk up to that scene. That scene's pretty funny. Kyle, you have to cheer up, dude. So you aren't built right for basketball. But I feel like a basketball player. That's all I want to do. Hello, boys. It's me, your teacher, Mrs. Garrison. Mrs. Garrison. You guys, Mr. Garrison has teeth. <laughs> I had a sex change operation. My penis is now a vagina, and I'm experiencing womanhood for the first time in my life. See you in class. See you in class. <laughs> so, the way she struts off. Right? So following that now... Kyle gets the bright idea. What? Well, Mr. Garrison believed that he was a female trapped inside of a man's body. So he goes home and asks his mom about plastic surgery and trans surgery. And even Gerald's kind of upset at first, like probably how a normal person or parent would react. Like, wait a minute, why am I have to find out this way? Why didn't I get to maybe be the one to tell them? Or why didn't we get like notified or something? That's kind of, I felt like how he reacts here. Mm-hmm. And so Sheila explains it to Kyle, and Kyle, of course, totally understands because he says he feels like he's a black person trapped inside of a small white Jewish body. So then he jumps over to to go find out more information from the Dr. Fiber here about, well, getting some sort of plastic surgery. In reconstructive surgery. Yeah, my school teacher wanted to be a woman, and you made him into one. Oh, yes, Mr. Garrison. Uh, yes, he had a vaginoplasty. Mm -hmm. Well, do you also do other surgeries like that? Sure. You see, sometimes a woman wants to be a man. That procedure is called a peenyplasty. No, no, I, I want to be tall and black. Peenyplasty. I like how there's like a long pause. What? <laughs> I hate being small and Jewish. I feel like a tall black man. Tall black. Oh, you mean negroplasty. Oh, you want a negroplasty. Yeah. A negroplasty? Negroplasty? It's a procedure, really. Just the reverse of a Caucasian plasty, just like Michael Jackson. Just take a look oh, here. Just like Michael Jackson. Just like Michael. It's the reverse. We slice your oh, face geez. and peel it back so we can insert new pigment producing. It's the reverse of a, of a, of a, of a, what do you see? A, a negroplasty or a Caucasian plasty, whatever Michael Jackson had. <laughs> Jesus. So, oh, my goodness. Kyle, then after going and talking about the doctor, um, you know, basically goes home and tells his parents, like, hey, can I have three thousand dollars to get a negroplasty? Only three K. Only three K though. And Gerald becomes very angry, going, See Sheila, now your son wants to have, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, now that your son wants to be transracial. Transracial. So Gerald decides to go back to the doctor's office here, okay? He goes back to Dr. Fiber's office. But before we get there, we should really quickly play a key point here, a pivotal plot point in the world of South Park here. Because for years, Mr. Garrison, Mrs. Garrison now, had a lover. Mm -hmm. That lover's name was Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave. Now, Mr. Slave replaced... Oh, Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave essentially replaced Mr. Hat and Mr. Twig, if you think about it, mm -hmm. as far as his sexual side. 
Mr. Twig. Now that Mr. Slave is going to find out that Mr. Garrison is no longer a man, why would he be attracted to a female? So let's find out what happens when Mrs. Garrison comes home from the store. I got some tampons. I should be getting my period really soon. Hope I don't get too emotional and drive you crazy with my PMS. PMS. Mr. Slave, I got something for us, too. Would you like to take this beautiful woman to bed? No, thanks. Nope. No, no thanks. Come on, Mr. Slave, I want to try out my new snooge. I can't believe you just went ahead and had that surgery without even asking me what I thought. Well, yeah, I that's... assumed you supported me. It's still me, I just Pretty have a important. vagina instead of a penis. But I'm gay. He's I gay. don't like vaginas. Like vaginas. Yeah. Don't you even care that I was suffering? I wasn't happy the way I was. It's great that you feel better, but you never stop to think about how the people around you would feel. Look, we can still be together. All you have to do is stop being gay. <laughs> how can you say that? You're gay too. I'm not gay. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, so is that it? You're just gonna walk out? You men are all alike. You Go men are all alike. Go ahead and find somebody who doesn't have a vagina, you fag. You fag. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So after getting into that fight, Mr. Slave stormed out. That's basically the end of their relationship. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the last time Mr. Slave and Mr. Garrison are in a relationship. Ever, so, right? It's never. Doesn't happen again. Like, he tries to rekindle it later in life, but it doesn't work. So now Kyle goes home to convince his parents about getting $3,000, as we've mentioned, and turning into a black person. My body doesn't reflect who I am inside. Kyle, you have to accept your body the way it is. Why? Why do I have to accept it when I can change it? The answer is no, Kyle. You're not going to have Negroplasty. But Jews can't play basketball. Kyle, you better stop being anti-Semitic right now, mister. <laughs> oh, I'm man. never speaking to either one of you ever again. So now Gerald decides, you know what? I'm going to go give that doctor a real piece of my mind. And he basically threatens a lawsuit against him. And then that's when the doctor really plays chess mm -hmm. and says that he can turn him into something that Gerald always believed he's been. Mm -hmm. And then we get fun. one of the greatest That's songs right. in South Park. And I also happen to be a lawyer, and I'm gonna have you sued for malpractice and your clinic shut down. What is that on your shirt? What the? They're they're dolphins. Why? Oh, you like dolphins? Mm -hmm. I love dolphins. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was a child, I dreamt of. But that has hardly any bearing on what I'm here to. I can make you one. I can make you one. <laughs> what? Invert the back, move the esophagus to the top of the head. Yes, a full dolphinoplasty could be achieved relatively Dolphinoplasty. Make me a... Make dolphin? me a dolphin? Ooh. If I could swim with the, the dolphins, dolphins, the soft the and gentle dolphins, dolphins, why can't I, I swim with the dolphins? dolphins. <laughs> no. No. No, no, it's crazy. There's nothing crazy about a person wanting to look on the outside the way they feel on the inside. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty big key right there. It is. It is a pretty big key there. So following that now, Mrs. Garrison starts to go out to the bar and she starts questioning to all the ladies around her why she has not gotten her period. And the women explain to her where normally when a woman misses her period, it means that she could be pregnant. So, of course, Mrs. Garrison goes, of course, one of those truck stoppers I let bang me must have got me pregnant. That's why I haven't experienced a period. I'm pregnant, everyone. I'm pregnant. So she thinks she's pregnant, and now she's excited because she gets to go to Planned Parenthood for her first abortion. And so she's going to go to the abortion clinic here. Um, and uh, let's take a look at that here, and then we'll go back to Kyle's house because there's some funny stuff there. But here's what happens when Mr. Garrison goes into the Planned Parenthood. This is Garrison? Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. Hello, doctor. Looks like I need an abortion. <laughs> an abortion? An abortion? Yeah, I've got one growing inside me. Now, you're going to scramble its brains or just vacuum it out? <laughs> the nurse. If you want, you can just scramble it, and I'll queef it out myself. <laughs> Mr. Garrison. Mrs. Garrison. Mrs. Garrison, you can't have an abortion. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do with my body. A woman has a right to choose. He stands next to no, the No, I mean you're she physically stands. unable to have an abortion because you can't get pregnant. But I missed my period. 
you can't have periods either. You had a sex change, Mr. Garrison, but you don't have ovaries or a womb. You don't produce eggs. You mean, I'll never know what it feels like to have a baby growing inside me and then scramble its brains and vacuum it out? That's right. Yeah, yeah. But I paid $5,000 to be a woman. This would mean I'm not really a woman. It, I'm just a... I'm just a guy with a mutilated penis. Jesus. Basically, yes. Fuck. Basically, yes. Basically. Oh boy, do I feel like a jackass. Chaka, <sighs> you are definitely a chaka. So Gerald goes ahead and he goes through with surgery. Yep. And he comes home and uh, he 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 turns himself into a dolphin. Miracle worker, Sheila. Uh, I'm the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> Look, Ike, your daddy's a dolphin. A dolphin? <laughs> Sheila, it, it was wrong of us to be so judgmental of Kyle. If he isn't happy with who he is, then who are we to deny him surgery that will make him feel better about himself? <laughs> Cheryl, this is crazy. What? I used to think I was crazy, but Dr. Biber told me that there are a lot of other people out there who are trans species. All I did is change my appearance to look the way I felt here. And I'm telling you now that if we don't let Kyle do the same, he may never be happy. Ever. We owe him more than that, Sheila. We owe him understanding. Sweet fucking... What did he spray? Water, probably salt water or something. All right, so now as a result of this, Kyle is allowed to get the operation. So Butters goes and runs and, hey, guy, hey, fellas. Hey, fellas. Fellas, hey, fellas, you got to come see. What? It's Kyle. He's a Negro. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. wow. I can't believe it. Wow. It hurt? Yeah, but it was totally yeah. worth it. Jesus Christ, dude. Look, Stan, I'm finally whole. My dad is even going to take me back down to the All-Star game to see if I can try it for the team again. Come on, Kyle. We should get going. Is it good, uh, Dolphin? Dude, is Kyle's dad a dolphin? <laughs> He's a Jewish dolphin. A Jewfin. A Jewfin. <laughs> All right, so now, as we mentioned, after getting the uh, trying to get the abortion, Garrison is, of course, pissed. So Garrison then charges back into Mr. Biber's office as he's having surgery on another person and demands that he be turned back into a man because obviously he's not really a female in regards to biologically. Biologically. You're listening to this podcast, or you're a fan of this podcast, and you are trans, and you've changed. We're not saying you're not a female. We're just saying, biologically speaking, you can't produce a child. So that's what they're talking about here. So that's how Mr. Garrison feels, having regret, buyer's remorse here, and wants to have his body parts reversed. Now, Mr. Biber reveals to him that his body parts, though, have already been recycled. The balls from Mr. Garrison have been played inside the kneecaps of a Jewish boy who wanted Negroplasty, and the scrotum has been used, creating a fin for a Jewish lawyer who wanted to be a dolphin. <laughs> a lawfin. <laughs> so lawfin. Uh, so uh, they go run back over to the Brofilowskis, and they find out that Kyle and Mr. If I find out Kyle and Gerald have headed off to the Colorado State basketball game uh -huh. because Kyle is going to attempt to play for the team again. And that's when Dr. Biber reveals that he only made Kyle look like a black person, that he's not actually a black person, that if he ever does anything very athletic, such as jumping, which, of course, he's going to be doing his basketball game, that his kneecaps could and will explode. So now coming by Stan, they go to the basketball match game, Kyle's made it to the team thanks to his surgery now as he shows up and the team the coach is like, hey, he's like, he's like, hey. you're tall enough and you're black enough. You're tall enough and you're black enough. All right, go ahead and get in there. Coach, coach, I'm all better. I'm ready to play. <laughs> Who are you? This is hey, It's me, Kyle Rothlosky. I had a Negroplasty. Can I play on the All-State team now? Well, you're tall and black enough. All right, Rothlosky, suit up. All right. I like yeah, this I next play. part by the dad, though. All right, Kyle. Excuse me, where do you have special seating for dolphins? <laughs> I don't know why that gets me every time. Excuse <laughs> me, sir, where do you have special seating for dolphins? <laughs> seats for dolphins. All right, so now, you know, Mr. Garrison, the doctor, the boys, they all end up at the stadium fighting their way through security. They find Kyle just as he nets the ball or just as he makes a, a slam dunk. 
uh, as he's being as Mr. Both Mr. Garrison, Mrs. Garrison, and Gerald are trying to cause a distraction on the court. Uh, Mr. Gerald at one point even throws himself here, uh, and then that allows Kyle to pick up the ball and slam dunk. And after doing so, he comes down and crashes on his balls, and it explodes. I got it. There we go. The now Kyle. No. No. My balls. Oh. Explode. Balls explode. And that coach is the only one that screams like a child, like a girl here. <laughs> <laughs> I like Poor the explanation. Coach. The explanation of the cops here. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. That woman over there was trying to get to her balls, which were in the knees of a black child whose father is a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Sounds like an open and shut case. All right, let's head him out. All right, let's head him out. <laughs> So, of course, it's now the doctor who explains, look, my bad. I should have actually told you this only aesthetically makes you look like an African-American and a dolphin. But you're not actually a African-American and dolphin. How, and that they let's go back to the office and they can have the surgery reversed for a nominal fee. And Kyle, of course, goes, that's great for us. But, you know, Mr. Garrison can't go back to being a man. And instead of being upset, she states that she would rather be a woman who cannot have periods than a fag. <laughs> and that's how this episode is going to conclude. So let's, let's put the last minute here. I'm sorry, Kyle. I should have told you the surgery was cosmetic only. Yeah. So does this mean I'm not really a dolphin? No. Let's get you two up to the clinic and I'll change you no, back for another. No, you've never fee. been. <laughs> but what about Mr. Garrison? He can't go back. No. You know what? I'm okay. Even though I'm not truly a woman, I think I still like the new me. I'd rather be a woman who can't have periods than a fag. Hey guys, this girl is staying a woman. Who wants to pound my vag? Girl power! And that's Jeez. how the episode ends. Girl power. Girl power, girl power. All right, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. We'll see you on the other side. Subscribe to Suck My Balls, a South Park review on Spotify, Apple's, iTunes, anywhere you want to download a podcast. Just type that in, subscribe to our feed, and you'll get the latest, greatest episode each and every week. You can also listen to us on YouTube and go back and watch some videos or any of our library. It's all there. Suck My Balls, South Park review. And we are back. Once again, shout out to our sponsor of the Big Boys Club.com. Use the code Suck My Balls Pod to save 20% off your order. Big Boys, not just a brand, it's a lifestyle. No pop culture today references, no continuity, just trivia. We're going to fly right through it here. In the beginning of the episode, when Mr. Garrison is going through his sex change, it shows live action clips of an actual male to female sex change. These clips are from the exploitation film, Let Me Die a Woman. Originally, the clips were actually going to be a minute long, but this idea was shot down by Comedy Central. Oh my God, can you imagine they were a minute long? <sighs> Mr. Garrison still appears as a male in the opening crowd scene until the season 10 episode of Smuggler. Kyle references Michael Jackson's skin color change when Dr. Biber describes a negroplasty. Jackson appeared, of course, in the Jeffersons. Garrison reveals her breasts on Girls Gone Wild, but all the other girls' breasts are censored with the logo of Real Girls. Her breasts are later revealed again in Go God Go. However, Real girls. however, even they're they're even uh. more they're even more distorted than they were in this episode. The distorted breasts are due to the events of two days before the day after tomorrow, in which one of the breasts is damaged during a mass panic. It's also worth noting that in the same scene, one of the girls' breasts can be seen for a single frame. So there you are. If you're a perv, you can go back and watch one single frame. During Kyle's basketball game, the coach of the Orange County crew from You Got F in the A can be seen in the crowd despite him being killed off. The final scene of this episode is directly referenced later on in Eka Penis, where Garrison states that the key difference between men and women is women can have babies. Whereas in this one, he says he would rather be a woman who cannot get periods or have babies than, of course, be a fag. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, Mr. Garrison remains a woman until a Eka Penis. Uh, Trey Parker claims that he came close to quitting the show due to the stress of this episode that it caused him. It is often considered to be one of the worst episodes of South Park. The Denver Convention Center appears to be the same as the Orange County Convention Center from You Got F'd in the A with a different signage. 
Both convention centers, though, appear to be modeled after the LA Convention Center, which we've talked about before, specifically the South Hill Bal building on the Pico Boulevard walkway. And that is your trivia. Like we mentioned, there's no pop culture, there's no continuity. Uh, probably because this, as you heard there, is one of the last pieces of trivia is highly considered one of the worst episodes of South Park. What do you think? I don't know if I think it's the worst episode of South Park. I think it's I think there's been worse ones. Yeah, there's definitely been worse episodes. Like Pip. Yeah, fucking Pip. Always worse. But I guess maybe they figured, I mean, they had, what, almost a whole year. Not a whole year, but you got to remember, like last season, in season eight, we, we referenced this a lot. They were making Team America, okay? So they mm -hmm. said that season eight was the season from hell. So this season, they didn't have to make that movie. All they had to do was make the show. So it's interesting that they decided to talk about the trans nature in this episode. And this was the season premiere. You know what I mean? Right. But I don't I, know if it's the worst one. I wonder what... I wonder if it was tiptoeing around, you know... Because you there's there's you know a lot out there that would probably if they didn't do it in such a way they could have they probably could have lost the show maybe I don't know because I, I, I don't maybe I, I'm just speculating 2005 different time yeah I don't know did you like this episode I mean it was all right I, I mean, mean it's a good episode like it's all right I I guess it's not there's good some funny parts like, yeah it's it's got parts that are funny Carbon's but. funny. Yeah, it's just one that you kind of watch it for. It goes by quick. It is, it is. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, you know. And then the the flashing and her titties all fucked <laughs> up. Yeah, but I don't know if it's the worst episode. In fact, Eka Penis, I think, is probably considered even a worse episode, maybe, to some people, where he goes and he has the, the rat on the, the penis and they're trying to yeah, catch and it. And it sings. Yeah, see, I feel like that one's a little bit worse, in my opinion. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's what we think of the episode. Do you think it's in your lower top 200, 300? Higher, you know, like 220. So in your top 200. Yeah. I would agree. Top 200 as well, or probably the top portion of it. Um, Joe, I don't know what you think. You'll have to let us know in the next episode. Uh, but that's it. That's what we're going to do here, guys, for another edition of I Check My Bad. I Check My Bad. Check My Bad. Of course, I'm your host, Nahina Can't be beating your guy who's high where the area is dry. Your boy, MSG. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Matthew underscore Sheffer. You can follow us as a podcast by going to linktre tr dot e e Linktree. Type in Linktree, South Park Pod. It'll come right up. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Suck My Balls Pod. Follow us on Facebook at South Park Pod. Subscribe on YouTube. Maybe if you subscribe, we'll put up some more videos. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll actually put up videos. I don't know. Maybe I got something maybe. in the can ready to go. We got Let's episodes three and four from the last season recorded. The brand new to episode twenty-five. Me and Joe recorded them. We put it up there. Maybe subscribe. Get to one hundred. <laughs> maybe we can actually have a URL. Maybe I'll put it up. I don't know. We'll see. Scoop. How about how about? Got anything uh, going on in your life? How about? Uh, we're in school. All right, there you go. And uh, Joe. Get easy as shit. I think he always says you can check out Primo's Pro Wrestling is what he looks works for the yeah. brand of wrestling. So go check that on Facebook and on Twitter, as well as you can also check out Act Fresh Studio, um, the Michael Vick twenty year career. <laughs> New episodes come up every couple days. Right now, there's about six episodes already up right now. Yeah, so we're playing just through it. Um, NFL two K two style, as well as just just Act Fresh Studio. We do other things from food reviews to lathering up scoop here with oil ASMR. Yeah, you see that shit sitting friends comedy music lo-fi goldfish challenges it's all fun and games at act fresh studio so find us basically everywhere even on tiktok yeah we have a tiktok i don't like it but we got it so just look up act fresh studio everywhere ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it for another edition of my Bells. we'll be back next week on one of my classic episodes one of my favorite episodes of south park to be quite honest die hippie die as uh we got some hippies are coming back from call we just came back from college so like we're totally we like we had one year, one semester at community college so now we're like we know how the world works so that's gonna be next week and cartman of course is gonna be storing all the hippies in his basement and then eventually they're gonna need his help and day hippie day coming to you next week on another edition of check my balls thanks for listening thanks for downloading thanks for being part 
of the Suck My Balls crew. Yeah, we love you. We got a crew now. You're part of the crew. Yes, crew. <laughs>